important in the late game where you can just chunk him down with the stacks and push, push through the auras. The early game though, as we see, Ace is already top of the CS board here and this is going to be something that Tundra are going to have to deal with. How hard does this Underlord hit? You might have some Ancient stacks to go with it. You have a Rubik to back him up, so you have double base damage reduction, a classic strategy here. And of course, you're going to have a Timber Saw who's having a free lane versus the Pango is going to create some tempo. If I'm Tundra, I really need a couple things to go right in this early game. Number one, it's the Pango and the Beastmaster outperforming the lanes. So getting more than maybe they deserve in these early stages of the game. And this Enchantress to get some roam action going in this matchup. As he does have a chance to actually get a Harpy here. See if he takes it. It's a level one enchant. Yeah, so it doesn't last that long, meaning you don't get that many lightnings out of it. But Ooh. he is going to take it and immediately get, get that lightning attack. off to a start. Next level plays from a two-time TI winner right here. <sighs> yeah, baited him in. And he's going to get all three of those chain lightnings out before it expires. So, very nice damage. <laughs> you see, that's a TI winner chain lightning right there. <laughs> Well, in some ways, a two-time TI winner. Jamie, you went to hit it. I <laughs> went to hit it. He gets a fourth one, actually, because of the mana regen. That's how good this guy is. I mean, I will say AUI has been performing really well at this tournament. I think a lot more comfortable and confident compared to Bali. Yeah. Maybe a bit more ready to stand or whatever. I mean, he, uh, he also was pubs. specifically actually playing Dota. Yes. Before going, so he gave the heads up to Skeeter. Skeeter backed off for a bit. He missed a few CS as a result. But uh, eventually, Skeeter's got to move forward. And he is going to be caught now. Yes. Arrow point blank lands, but the heals are just enough. Lotus will get him out of dodge. And of course, Nature's Attendance could deal with the the bad rune luck here as Tundra collapsed with all three in that arcane rune with Thunder. This is very efficient. I'm just going to clean him up. Nice Easy blast off kill. And big first blood. So you said the advantage goes to whoever starts building that momentum. And for now, that is going to be Tundra. Tanks up the Siege Wagon, so they're going to get a lot of damage. Block. Goku might be looking for it again with the Timber coming back in. Now, if Snaking tanks this one, he might die for it. Does tank it. That's going to lead into the Chakram. Bit of damage. Tier 1 tower is going to be denied. Quinn managed to pick that one up, but they do not get a kill out of this situation. I think Tundra are still very happy with that rotation. You get a tier 1 off the board. From Some can you be? Why would you win three majors in a row? <laughs> <laughs> are you, I mean, have you been watching Dota the last time? You don't win three majors in a row. Ice Frog is going to come back with a vengeance. That yeah. bounce patch was a game and nerf patch. You just looked at whatever they were winning with and it all got nerfed. So now you have to win with all the same heroes they've been playing all year, except they're 10% worse. Yeah, Tundra did a much better job in their run. Yeah, they've yeah. been sandbagging all these events and still getting top three somehow. <laughs> We're yeah, no Wraith Pack anymore. Wraith Pack. If anything, Wraith Pack might get buffed. They're going to win another TI. <laughs> this Bring team's back. terrifying. Is another roll going to come through off that arcane cooldown? Yeah, and remember, we did have a bit of death. a pause, but it was an arcane rune rolling thunder, so it came back very quickly. And a third death now for gaming gladiators as a whole but two specifically for quinn a rough star right as opposed to many other mid laners that provide their own disable i mean i think if he was getting runes and he was the one pushing the tower it'd be fine and he's gonna hold on a third time third death for quinn callahan where's the help well it was gonna be a portal but uh ace canceled that one he <laughs> 2000 will use it to get back to lane he's like all right sweet even Gaiman's own spells are working for Tundra here, and now they're going to outnumber Ace Top. They're going to push again. He's out of it. That is so pretty cool. Move. Durantio actually TP'd in to fight this one. Turning air to the Ursa. That's a pretty interesting idea here. He's going to keep up with Skeeter and get this kill. A great rotation from Durantio. Once again, the game at Gladiators carry. Stacks, man. Skeeter pulls the wave off of mid onto a neutral camp. This is peak efficiency right here. Double damage and some extra Hadouken to help clear through it. Pretty damn fast for this early in the game. This is going to be a massive Pangolier. He's already got the Fusal and Orb of Corrosion. They actually, they started heading that way and then they re-smoked up. Off of that tower dying, they decide it's no longer the play to go bottom. They try and keep the uh, aggression up here in the top lane. Nine missing another Swashbuckle. Dyer's this is not the defusal reveal they really wanted out of this Pangolier. A lot of minutes even worse. He gets hit by an arrow here. Oh, perfect! Ace lines it up with the pit, and Tofu just fully trusts in their teamwork to land. Beautiful stuff. AY is going to die eventually as well. But the big kill, that kill streak being taken.
part of the game where he's having trouble keeping up. I guess he's just going to do it himself early on. So they're not going to wait for the Helm of the Overlord. They just clear through with the extra blads. Pretty nice read here. Does he not want it? Okay. Oh he's going to leave it for nine. To nine. Wow. wow. What a team player. I mean, I guess this makes sense, right? I don't know if Skeeter wants to be running in and joining these fights anytime sure. soon. They're pretty damn difficult for him. And this will make sure that nine can at least get a guaranteed fight out of the two lives. You know, the Moonlight Shadow move, or excuse me, a smoke move. Now the Moonlight Shadow is going to be used to help the smoke land. Going to get in melee range of 33. 33 gets off the Bramble Roar, but uh, very likely he will fall the Quinn here as another Chakra. the Roar. And it's the Whirling Death that cuts him down in the trees. Quinn will slay the Cobalt. Get him. No mercy. He's going to try and kill him, but he does have a haste room. So they're going to have to change stun him here. Also, the enchant could be used. AEY is too far away. The Primal War is actually going to be put to use here. The Rolling Thunder halted in its place. Ah, that enchant was on cooldown. Uh, I think he just runs up and guarantees it. Ace will go back through the gate. He's drew game now that it is unpaused. You like that transition? Yeah, I do. Take some notes, kid. And nine is going to smoke up. Age is still up for two minutes here. Doesn't Wait, have that is the target yes. again. Deadly. He is in a position to be able to get a decent timber chain, but he's got to get up to the high ground, and he's not going to make it. Boy, Tundra really hate Quinn. That's what I'm getting. They are this. sending him a message this game, and it is, you are not going to go on a target. Well, that guy is not surviving. I don't care if you have a Pavis on Marana here. Yeah. Damage is overwhelming, and that Helm of the Overlord is finished so push time for tundra every kill they get is going to result in objectives and celery any extra pickoffs will ensure that they can get this tier two tower celery will be uh showing up to the fountain is the same time the quinn's coming out of it maybe they can high five each other and this should result in a tier two for tundra as they're starting to speed this game up early roshan gonna do him favor control the second and Diffusal Maelstrom for nine. He's just going raw damage here. Air lands, but the Rolling Thunder is going to be able to stop it. Gladiators from immediately killing Staking. Now, Quinn was able to finish off that kill, but if they can get the Underlord in exchange, it's well worth it. And the damage being laid into Quinn as well. AUI with the impetus. That was just all the Dragon impetus in a roar there, man. That wasn't even the big core targets. AUI did 1800 to him. Yeah, he only got level 3 enchant. Usually he maxes it out, but in this game, he went level 3 enchanting you. This man's evolving. And they're gonna go for your tormentor. Whoa! They're not gonna go for it. They're just gonna get it. A shard for AUI, so now he can split push to his heart's delight here. He went straight Hurricane Pike on top of Grobo for AUI. Smoke and a Moonlight Shadow. The two teams are going to crash into each other here. It's going to be 33. It's going to be the target first, but they don't have an opening disabled. 33 just runs away. And Quinn, he's going to be targeted once again to get hit by the Rolling Thunder Rising Timber Chain. So he dies to the Ursa as a result. Gaming Gladiators retreat from yet another lost engagement against Tundra. Nine rolling it up and rolling it out of there as he gives the cover for them to be able to finish off Ace. And they just abandon Ace on that backside. The instant Quinn gets stunned once the fight's over. Is it, is it that simple for Tundra? That's what it felt like, right? The second the Rolling Thunder connects on the Timber's off. Okay, he's just dead. Yeah. You need, you need a save here. You need some disjoint and four staffs or some better tank ability and pipes. Or I mean, the combination of not having save and not having clear initiation is killing gladiators, right? Yeah, it's like Atos and Arrow, right? But there's a lot of creeps around. The Ursa can always ult. The Enchantress can just tank it with heal. Yeah. You're not going to see the snaking techies who has built up a pipe, by the way. So the horrors are coming out for Tundra. Early drum for 33 as well hero to play against in some of these fights when you don't have clear initiation because that's normally the way you deal with them. You go with the hex or something here. He's just running at you. What is the answer? Rage to be able to get a rid of the Rod of Atos because once they have a kill, I think gaming gladiators don't really have a chance. It's a four versus five with a lineup that just cannot seem to fight back right now. They have double four staff, so in theory, they should be able to bail these cores out when the jump comes. Tofu, he was sitting on the low ground there, didn't expect that Tundra had vision of him. Now, somehow he managed to live, and Skeeter pretty far forward here. Now, he doesn't have the enrage, but he does have the BKP, so there's really not too much to... Where that hits. I think it will. This is yeah. very quick. 
He's just about to walk out of the pit. Let's see if Skeeter can finish him off. No! <laughs> they use the front row to keep him in place. They do not want to let him limp away to Game and Gladiator's side. Yeah, where look at the on the hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they go up to this high ground, if they try and catch him, oh, they go for the tail, he needs his arrow, but they're going to be jumping in all those lines. Quinn, you got to get out of there. A dangerous proposition. They try and challenge Tundra on that high ground with Tundra also having Aegis and Cheese. I mean, they got the ult out of the Ursa and they just cleared through nine instantly. A super sick arrow by Tofu. Sometimes the answer to a lot of things in life. Luck. Oh, it was between Snake King and Skeeter. Because Skeeter was actually behind the Beastmaster in net worth it, until he got that shard. Oh, okay. He's gonna put a nice force staff up to the high ground. That'll save Celery's life barely. Throw up a ward there. there. Try and get vision of him, but he's already gone. This is your second Aegis around that 26 minute mark. That's gonna be a high ground push, though. What can you do to stop it? You have BKB on down to how Ace. Oh, 33 and... just knows. Yeah, he's gonna find Ace here. That's trouble. He can pop the BKB to keep up no with Ace, detection. but if he loses detection of him, if you manage to get up the TP off and then get out of sight again, it's possible. Oh, there's nowhere to juke. Oh, yeah. The problem is going to be in this situation, Ace. He, if he TPs, he's going to reveal himself and then he gets roared during that period of time. Quinn, he's also going to get caught. Oh, no. Blast off. Chains hit the roll it up. Chains that stun after the blast off even further. Tundra cook. Yeah, so... You go into game two here, you're gonna consider some of the impact these heroes are having for you and, and what was easy, what was hard, and Skeeter immediately just built some stacks. Let's get the BKB out of him. Pretty free jump. Didn't cost you an ult or anything. That's true. And plus you with that level 10 talent, it sticks onto the stacks that you're talking about, stick onto the hero. Yeah. Like they're crazy. This is the one thing about this hero. His fury his fury swipes are way better than they used to be. Yeah, I mean, it's a good example value, of like but... why Ursa is good against Dusa. Because you can sure. jump in him, bam, 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 bam. Try and actively change the nature of this game rather than just I passively sit back. I would agree with that sentiment, and this smoke is designed to do that. They have Shivas on the timber and Butterfly on the Morphling. About as good as it's going to get here. Need the good jump, you need an arrow. Oh, this is the perfect jump. Now he dies at the start of the fight. And now they're going to catch more AY2000, trying to Hurricane Pike himself backwards here. Snaking also trying to cover him, but I do believe Gaming Gladiators should be able to catch at least one hero out of this. If not two, it's going to be the Enchantress who dies first. And so nails the arrow. Beautiful stuff, Gaming Gladiators. A start of a comeback here as they bring back a net worth lead from 14k to 10. Oh, Tundra. that is got to be upsetting. And that is an Ag Scepter Roche. Probably the one Tundra wants here as Ags on the Ursa sounds pretty tempting here. Yeah, okay, you already have nine. You could Ags, give it to so. the Beast, but I don't think the drums is doing much for you, so it will. The fight starts with Skeeter going in. You rather have the Aegis on the Ursa. If the fight starts with Gaiman going on you, then you rather have that Aegis on the Pango. And he's gonna start on Skeeter. He's the one running through the river when Gaiman Gladiators went for a smoke and Moonlight Shadow move. They don't get the kill on Skeeter, but they get the enrage out of him. Now they push to the high ground, looking for other heroes. Here comes that Rolling Thunder. Nine gonna have to drive around the corner here. Who they Up want to the Underlord. Get the chain stuns out, and the Ursa can deliver the damage. They get the four staff away. Nullifier, Yule Scepter, all being used on this Ursa to stall his impact. Ace is still limping away. They want this kill so badly. Nine's gonna chase for it, and really, there's nowhere to hide to for Ace. He'll be oh, gone eventually, nice. and the blast off claims Tofu's life, stopping the TP. Three kills for Tun. Ursa and the Pangor for so long. You just can't find anything on the backside. The bear is too big, and the roar ends up taking down the timber saw. You do get the roar stolen on Celery, a consolation prize here. Just not able to kite that fight out long enough and stand your ground. If the Rachio isn't sitting there hitting people with this morphling, yeah, just what, no damage coming out. What did he do during that fight? Because I was so focused on Ace running away. Like, as you said, they kited out well, but what was the carry of gaming gladiators getting done to respond? He BKBs, and he has a choice of hitting a rolling thunder pango that's shield crashed or an enraged Ursa. Yeah. I mean, what are you doing, right? There's just not, there's no damage to be had. The single target burst is just gonna chomp you. I think pretty much the only thing Tundra missing at this point is like Hex or Nullifier territory. Oh, they are desperate for any pickoff right here. Gaming Gladiators do find it sneaking. Falls.
steal. They don't need him here, though. Uh, well, they should respect Amy Gladiators because they do have stolen Prime Lord onto the Rubik as well. Tofu didn't respect the space, though. He gets too close trying to defend this mid-tower and immediately Tundra were lying in wait and pounce on him. Man, they just threw every ult on him. <laughs> That helps into the 21,000 net worth lead that Tundra have built up. They've got a lane of barracks ahead, and they are trying to stop Gaming Gladiators from getting out of the map. The old scepter into an arrow. Skeeter is going to be stalled up a bit. This they is don't a double damage war, of course. Oh, he's going to oh, and he almost moves up, and Chris managed to get that kill. Now, Karachi start bleeding into nine. This is perfect for Gaming Gladiators. Hide out the Ursa. 15 seconds left on the Aegis. They're going to take it away from him by he force. Still up. 10 more seconds here, Duracho. He's They're going to kind of around while Durantu goes to the back line. The arrow almost landing on a Snake King. Not quite good enough. Skeeter pops BKB running away. Running because he doesn't have a TP. They're going to keep chasing after him. And eventually Durantu is going to catch up. Oh, the Yul Tepper. An arrow. And that is going to be two deaths for Skeeter. The support's coming in huge for, for that disarm or, you know, removal of his attack speed comes through. My what is right. Vision counts for everything here in the late game and tundra definitely have an advantage in that they have a boar they have a hawk they're gonna see the morphling adaptive strike it which means tundra know where game and are they know moonlight shadow is coming their way arrow blind up the hill doesn't hit anything deals two heroes long wrap is gonna pop up mine man it's so hard to get an angle on the beastmaster and the techies right now yeah just too many warning signs going off take a dip into the really interesting because if they stalls enough roshan is going to spawn and end up going to the other side Skeeter of the map to force it this is very aggressive die bomb gonna be used onto the underlord he's gonna try and burst him during this enraged timer the disarming can't see him oh no they should have the detection now the beast master almost getting popped durachu does get bashed up once use that overseal totem to try and get away but he managed to finish him durachu gets that one hit to finish off the beast master one for one exchange so far ay starts leaning into quinn beast Quinn's master buyback the snake he jumps in off the earth set and Quinn going down. That he is does a not have the buyback. They're gonna break 33 in off the buyback. Bots to the creeps. Can gaming respond? Can they find anything? Duracho's still looking. He's got my snaking in the back. He gets disarmed by the taser. Oh, the taser, always a problem. The Manta comes in a little bit late, but even then, snaking had the HP anyway. Now, the part about this that really sucks for Tundra, Roshan's gonna be so delayed that Quinn will be back up despite a 90 second death timer. They see Duracho. So they need more. They need to be able to catch Duracho, really. This is such a hard catch. Yeah, it is a very mobile hero, and they don't know exactly where he went to either. Tundra need to think about the detection on these fights. Especially yes. Skeeter. When he jumps this deep, there's no way you're getting dust out from these supports. And he doesn't want to carry a gem. That's so who that helps him there? I mean, I think it's got to be Tope, uh, like, I don't know who is going to be carrying the gem on the side of Tundra. I mean, it was 33, which I think is okay, because he has BKB Blink. Yeah. They lost that gem though, right? I oh, know AUI ended up picking it up, so they can put it on the Enchantress, have him frontline, they can put it back on the Beastmaster, play for the jump. Somebody has to go in with it though, because this Moonlight Shadow is wrecking Skeeter on the initiation, and that almost cost you that fight. Like, if that Beastmaster goes down a little sooner, maybe if Gaming can re-clump and protect their Timbersaw from the second jump on this Ursa, Underlord survived. Yeah. And that's a problem. That means he gets that purge back onto the Ursa, removes a lot of this overpower from the fight, and then just comes back in towards the end. Almost a disaster there. This is one. You want the spoink? I think 33. Mortality. We'll give it to the beast. I don't know how much this drum does, because he's getting bursted incredibly fast. Like, no, I also feel like this item is generally a farming and tempo item. I actually don't think it's that impactful in the ultra late. Sure. I guess the stats and HP are nice for him, though, and, I mean, spoink is... On the fight. You'd rather be hurricane piking than sprinking. Game of Gladiators did set up for a fight at this top part of the map. Oh, that mine. Oh, the mine. He's sneaking a heads up, but he doesn't get off the taser in time. Now they're going to start jumping for Duraccio, looking for more kills with a level 26 Quinn. How did he get these levels? He's got the double chakram now. Yeah, you also have the. Yeah, but was it for all the. The two free Magnum Sisters they've gotten and the Tormentors that they've gotten. This would actually be a game for a glass game of tea. Once more, where's your detection? The score dump. They're going to go into the arrow. He's jumped her out. Looking out for...
not working at all as they can't sink up to you. Now, in an elimination series, they have you to step up again. He, he is running at you. Oh, oh, oh there it goes to the chain. What's up? What's the fourth thing? He gets tossed up to the high front. He's okay for now. Turns into the earth. He's ready to shoot back in with a wave. He's just biding his time. Look at the damage coming. Four seconds. Oh, he's up. He's up. Now he's just EK. He's leaving at 33. So that group for Stanton. That is the Aegis hero. There's this flame in the big open. He's mop as he ports away. Performance here, Durachu is so far, but he's not taking that. He's fighting up again. But he can't win that. I'm a little away from Drew. Man, he killed the sports player. Done. Now, more biggest trade is Durachu to stay alive. They're all he went for him after 33. He's not done yet. He wants more. Once again, to the nurse, a pump up his tax. Let's see. He's not very bad. He wants more. He's not a mom, but Durachu will not take. And you will stay alive the fight in the hole. This game for the gladiators. Total buyback. You gotta wait for that. You go back in, and then guess what? There's another wave form up. He's back out while he kills your pango on the way. And the only back in with Win. When Tarachu actually tried to fight him. Yeah, and he, he almost wins this man fight, and you're one hit short, and all of a sudden, Duraccio is still going in, by the way. Finishes off the Ursa with an adaptive while he's morphing the Max here. The balls on this man, they are way too big for Tundra to handle right now, as there is not a Morphling answer in sight. And that is the side of guys, what the hell we do to this right now? You need a couple more hexes, a couple more MKBs, a couple more hexes. Wants to cool. The game won the seven bullet oh, okay. He used the relay to the right there. But they're too much pure. Too much physical damage from the scheme. He's just hit again. So sick. Oh, the pass. The ball's gonna be the boost for it. This Delph, dude. He crashed it eventually. Still his face. He can't be too brief. And now they're gonna have to put time without him. He finds out. It's a looking look around. Quinn has an opportunity, perhaps, to get away from him. It's right in. We'll pitch on Tofu. Blank for blank. We'll get po Tofu and Quinn out. Silver Edge broken. Nonetheless, this will be a Roshan that goes tons of space. They can claim every single one of this game. Another Aghanim Scepter. Aghanim Scepter. It's one of the supports here. Minefield or Stroy. Take your pick. I guess you can eat one. I'm one of the other. I, I could eat it, yeah. Yeah, if you <laughs> Yeah. Mine! Oh, we can't have Gaiman found a way foot in this game than I thought they were going to have another set of pretty tight ones. Now, utility supports is out of control. He play done for Tofu on top of a Lincoln Spear. Wow. They're just going to be throwing in these defensive items. You have a couple heads out between Ace and Quinn. So if they find the big the bear. Here, who jumps for breaks the smoke? The challenge is what? Jump immediately for the patient for he's dead. Once again, the BKB is disturbing here. Quick to Raj, you know. It's an extra solo to get it. Length of damage in nine. Still crash. 80% damage for the smoke. That's right. For a long goal attempt, they're hitting themselves. It's him with a goal of fire. He can't try to get him. He's blocked. 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 He has ult, he has no BB right now. You have one jump in this roar in this head. Are you gonna respect this? No, they're gonna gate the heal and come back. Triple air. They take it back through the gates. Gate. We're gonna be missing this. First of here, third second. That's it. A ton of a big one. Yeah, and now it's a four versus four. You just even the off a little bit. I don't know what happened, but it's not what I don't know if Tundra can do so that's true. And he's gonna be making his way through the map. He's still a little bit of his bottom lane. 
30 seconds left for the Pangolier. You stall right now. You have that bottom weight pushing 20 seconds to potentially give up Megas to win the fight. I think it's on pretty much everybody in you. Hard lifting. Good. Corbin's got the guy immediately inside the bikes. Put on the Or snap, keep them away. And it's busy and giving up the buildings. Oh, just see this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You see Rage slow down for the shot from It is so hard for him to get away. No, it's super. I mean, for me, by the floor. He sees an opportunity to jump back in, but so does the rush. He goes through a death mate. And I almost get to the three three left away. And he'll be back. Put back on to the Two gets another way for him. It's not yet another hero. Be no he's now the defense. AUI for the Megas here. Oh, Glyph as well. You gotta jump in. You gotta jump now. Here. Blame from Sonic. If you're big, this guy. And there's the can. But we need to close that time back now. And Glyph finds you. Rock 2 is in pretty deep. He'd be able to cut it around. You're all right, mate. Still fires around the world. Goes down. And the top of the map. Fuels after heroes. It's too much. Not where is it? It doesn't matter. Game but it's over. Nine rolled straight into the abyss, man. He ended up off the map and stuck. What a way to end the game. It's done so well. And yeah, those tips go.